You're watching Disney Junior on YouTube. Now, to get going, you're going to need a whole kitchen roll tube, then another half kitchen roll tube, but this one needs to be slightly wider. Now, for the mirror, you need to ask for a piece of silver card, or you could use some kitchen foil, but make sure it isn't all creased up. To make the mirrors, use a thin piece of card, the same length as the long kitchen roll tube. Then place two fingers at the bottom edge and make a mark. This is the measurement you need slightly less than the width of the tube. Make two more marks, then use a ruler to draw three straight lines up from all of these marks. Carefully cut out the card to get this. Next, take your piece of silver card. Put glue on the cereal box card on the side without the straight lines and stick it to the back of the silver piece. Then carefully cut around it. Now, using a ruler to help, bend the card along the lines. Ask for some help if you need to. You want the silver to be facing inwards. Bend it round and tape it into a triangle shape to make your three-sided mirror. Now take the kitchen roll tube and carefully cut it all the way down. Wrap it tight around the mirror and tape it. Look, the mirrors are inside. Now, the idea is that the mirror tube should now easily slip into the other smaller half of our tube. So next, we're going to make the viewfinder for our eye to look through. Then, we're going to need to make a disc with our colours in. Next, we need to find a plastic cup that is wider, like this. See? Place your plastic beaker onto a piece of cereal box card and draw around it. Then draw another circle inside that by drawing around the thinner tube that has the mirror inside. Draw a third really small circle by hand inside that. Ask a grown-up to help you cut around the lines so that you end up with these two pieces. Now take a clear plastic sheet and draw around the thin ring onto it. Carefully cut out the plastic and glue the two pieces together. Press them so they stick together well. Now this ring piece with the plastic will go on the end of our wider tube just here and this will go onto our thinner tube just there. You need special pens that will draw on plastic, so ask a grown-up to draw this part for you using special permanent marker pens. Ask them to draw some shapes and colourful patterns for you. You can also stick on small pieces of thin coloured craft tissue with PVA glue, whatever you like, and then take the ring to one end of the wider tube. Next, put the viewfinder circle at one end of the tube with the mirror and tape it into place. But don't cover the hole that you look through, will you? And now we have a basic kaleidoscope that works. Wow! But if you want it to stay strong and last a long time, then here's what you need to do. Now, this is really easy. You just need some Art Attack paste. That's PVA glue mixed with water and some old, torn-up newspaper. Now, we're going to paint on the paste like this. Take your time with this and slowly cover the whole tube as you go. Then, take some more paste to pick up your paper and stick it on like this. Again, repeat the process until you have covered all of your tube and then do it again on your other tube. Now, you need to make sure you don't cover the colour disc here or the viewfinder here. Then once you've done that, you'll have two tubes like these, you see? Now we can put them together and let's add some colour. It's time to make your kaleidoscope look really cool or pretty. Take the two sections apart and draw on your pattern. This one is having spiral lines drawn onto it. But of course, you can do whatever patterns you like. Stripes, spots, pictures. Then also draw a pattern on the viewing piece. Then it's time to paint the pieces using your favourite colours. How about this bright red? And then yellow looks good next to red, doesn't it? Using a thin brush to paint thin lines is a good idea. Now click left or right for more great shows or subscribe to keep up to date with the latest Disney Junior YouTube clips.